Uh, okay, you're back. And you're unmuted, so. Alrighty. You're not doing anything yet? Daryl. Ladies and gentlemen, we got an 0-2 count to the four hitter, Klotz, third baseman for Eastern Michigan. The 0-2 pitch from Talon tries over to first again, not in time. There's not a disengagement rule in the NCBA. Swing and a miss, strike three. Yes. Talon strikes out two in that first inning, only walking one, allowing one base runner. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the MSOE Club Baseball Broadcast. We have the bottom of the second coming up, leading off number six, Roman Skorupa. He's catching today for this game. He will also be featured in our nightcap games while he plays for the 
D2 Raiders against UWM. Price comes set. And the pitch. Squares the bunt, pulls back, takes ball one outside. I like what he's thinking. He always likes to do that first pitch. Rough I.O. from Eastern Michigan today. Might as well put some pressure on him early. You know, a lot of wheels a lot of wheels in the box right there for, you know, someone who's catching. Takes ball two outside. A little bit of a Garrett Spence type. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Dalton Bar Show. Isaiah Kiner Falafa. You know, speed speed is an underrated <laughs> speed is an underrated aspect of the game today. You know what? Roman might Fastball on the outside corner taking for strike one. Roman might actually be IKF because Isaiah kind of fluffo went from catching to shortstop. I did not know that. Fun fact of the day. Fun fact of the day. A 2 1 pitch. Taking ball outside. Really, really trying to pick that outside corner right now is Price. Missing three of the four pitches. Looks like the umpire's got a very consistent zone today. It's early. Yeah, he's been pretty good on the outside corner, though. 3-1 pitch. Take it. Strike two. Hasn't given much out there. Living on the outside corner. Yeah. Might have to start to go. Might have to think the other way here. Poke one over the second baseman. Ooh, big loopy curveball. Nowhere near the zone for ball four. Really good leadoff at bat by Roman there. Yep. Best way to go is to get your leadoff guy on at times. You know? Absolutely. See a lot of pitches, work a count. Make the make the pitcher work. Yeah. Now we have the pitcher, number 28, Talon Lukey up for the Raiders. Struck out two in the first inning. Now he's up trying to help himself out right here. Line foul. You know, some might call him the club baseball Shohei Otani. Some could. Some could. Some could. Very similar game, but he does play the field, something he has up on Shohei. Might Price comes more. set with the old one. And the pitch. Grounded to third. Third on to second. Second. No throw. Talent is safe at first on a fielder's choice. Great job by Roman to break up the double play there. Just knowing when to slide. Now we have center fielder, number eight, Jordan Dish up. Hitting in the three hole today. Oh, Derek, you're getting some flack right now. Parkman wants you to pick up. Yeah, got to be more like Woody up here. I need a reason to. Not much uh, excitement. Ooh, big loopy curveball taken for ball one. I don't know, Al. <laughs> I don't know. That curveball was not a competitive pitch, nowhere near the zone. Fastball taken down for ball two. You know, with a guy like uh, Jordan Dish up at the plate, I kind of want to pitch around him. He hits a lot of triples on this field. He does. Absolutely does hit a lot of triples. Pass guy, defense. Eastern Michigan coming in today with an 8-4 record. Jordan squares run a bunt, runner goes. Throw is to the left of the bag, and Talon is in there with a stolen base. Easily. No chance. The outfield today has no respect on Jordan. They don't know that this man, as skinny as he is, can really hit for power. Just wait till they see the liver. The wind whipping, you know, I can't blame the outfield for playing a little more shallow today. Well, it's more of a crosswind blowing, blowing out the left. Ball taken outside. Might be able to get a hold of one. Keep it fair. Up now, shortstop, number 26, Oliver Hullerung. Now, this is a kid, freshman, who has been absolutely mashing the ball over, all over the yard. Now, this is a guy who deserves to be in the four hole, and we're looking to get some, some RBIs right in this scenario. This is the guy who you want up right now. You know, he might be pushing for cutest player on the baseball team. Short lead at second. Talon's, 
Off speed, take it for strike one. Callum will be a close second. I think that's the first time this guy's thrown in today. Oh, that was right over the heart. Oh, I got a bad angle on it. Maybe I'm she get my right eyes behind. checked. I'm sitting right behind. That was a right over the heart of the plate. The old one. Good take. Fastball taken outside for ball one. No one holding. Oh, short kicking. Talon at second. No one holding Jordan on at first. Big loopy curveball taken outside for ball two. Not had a lot of feel for that pitch early in the game at all. No, no curveballs thrown for a strike so far. Well up, well outside. A good, a good curveball over to get over for strike one sets you up really nicely in the count. Absolutely, being able to throw more than one pitch for that strike. A key. As liver takes strike two. Double seal, get the runners in motion, stay out of that double play. That'd be. Nobody really holding talent on. You got a high leg kick, slow delivery to the plate. No one holding. And the pitch. Ball. Full count. I almost would be tempted to send them now, even though there's not two outs. Get them in motion, yeah. Get them in motion. Put some pressure on the defense. It's because early if you run into a double play, it's not a big issue. Price, one, price with the payoff. Swung on, fouled off. You might be able to sneak across the fast O hat across the plate on a single instead of a double. That is the first time we've seen Price come inside today. Lived on that outside edge for the first few batters, and there he tries to sneak a fastball inside past liver, but nothing going. Still playing very shallow out there. Gaps are wide open. Price comes set. And try it again. 3-2. Ball four. Very nice. Now coming to the plate, number five, big Will Kalitsky. Now this is a guy, if he gets hold of a ball, goes a long way. You can say that again. <laughs> Mound meeting for Eastern Michigan. Got a lot to talk about now with only one out. And the no. base is loaded. Big Will coming back from an injury in the fall. He broke his nose, if you didn't know. I didn't even know that. Yeah. We had uh, blood stains in Comstock for a little while. Oh, no. For a long while. For a long while, actually. <laughs> you don't really clean the carpet there very often. <laughs> stains the carpet pretty good. Yeah, he, he, sure, he sure made sure to leave his mark on that building. I'm, I'm necessarily looking course, to get... There is no more blood stains. I'm necessarily looking off... Looking to get off to an early lead here. Good opportunity. Corners in. Middle looking to turn two. Not really. They're they're playing they're playing pretty off the bag there. I don't know what they're thinking. First pitch taken for a ball. Still one out here. Put one in the air. See what happens here. Will. Playing a little halfway. Second base playing back. Not a lot of room in the gap, but a lot of room up the middle. Fastball take up strike one. That looks like they have a Did he call a strike? <laughs> Was that a strike? What? He didn't, he didn't call that a strike? No. He didn't signal it. It looked like it was right down the middle to me. I guess we'll see. doesn't look like they have a defensive plan out there. Fastball taken on the outside corner for a strike one or a two. I, I don't even know. Two, two one. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Don't know where that second pitch missed, but. We'll take it. You going to get on the mic now? A little change up swung on a miss for strike two. All right, Will now just sure enough put the ball in play. I want to see if these guys, you know, can play good defense. Definitely need a ball in play in this scenario. Got to get a run in somehow. 2-2. Two -two. Loopy curveball with an absolute sort of a swing. Strikes out Will for strike for out number two. Now up number five, third ba first baseman, excuse me, Alex Thurman. A fifth-year senior, been in the program a long time. A welcome face anytime on the Raider Stadium baseball field. I 
First pitch taken up and away for ball one. This guy's been all over the plate. Alex just has to hunt for his pitch. Really put a really put a drive into one, you know. He's been one of the most reliable hitters here in this program for quite some time. Oh, second pitch taken on the inside corner for strike one. That pitch looked down from back here. Alex is a tall fella. Some might say. He's a fella. He's tall. The 1-1 one, one pitch. Taken outside for ball two. Getting an early lead for the Raiders would be crucial. Give Talon Lukey on the bump a little something to work with. The 2-1. Swung on, driven into right field. Camping under it. And out number three is recorded. You know, even though we didn't scratch a run, we made that pitcher throw a lot of pitches. Get to the bullpen early, we'll really bang them up. They want copyright strike. Leading off for Eastern Michigan, the catcher, number 19, Holtz. Talon looking to get ahead as he did so efficiently in the first inning. The one in the pitch. Fastball taken for a strike one. Fastball taken up for ball one. Talon with the 1-1. One, one. Swung on a missed strike two. Talon working ahead, staying ahead early in this game. Something we really like to see from our young pitchers on the bump. The 1-2 pitch. Swung on a missed strike three. Talon strikes out his third today. Next up for Eastern Michigan, number six, Malizek. Now hitting for Eastern Michigan. Number six, Mali number six, Malizek playing second base today. Talon with the one, the 0-0 pitch. Fastball taken on the outside corner for strike one. Looks like we got a good traveling crowd out of the Eastern Michigan fans here. Sure does. On a cold, windy day over in uh, Glendale, Wisconsin. Fastball swung on a miss on the outside corner. Ugly looking swing. A little change up, maybe. He's got a lot, he's Something got a running lot away from him got a lot of run on his fastball really can get people thinking it's on the outside corner and then it just falls off the table 
I think our, I think our stream froze, unfortunately. The 0-2 pitch taken for ball one. Swung on and missed strike three. Roman will be able to squeeze it behind the plate. As Talon strikes out his fourth today. Now batting, number 33, Becker. I guess today's broadcast has turned into more of a radio, so i got to switch up my approach now. Number, number 33 up for Eastern Michigan, Becker, designated hitting for Price on the bump. First pitch taken upstairs for ball one. Swung on, flat out to right. Pigs on the run, makes a catch down the line, recording out number three. Kind of a do-it-all guy. He catches, plays infield, plays outfield. You know, a little bit of an athlete out there, some might say. He is just beautiful at bat. Due up for the Raiders, 7 8 9 hitters Hudson Arnie, Sean Pigaselli, and Sean Kennedy. Leading us off, Hudson Arnie playing left field today, number 24. Man just got cake. <laughs> First pitch taken on the outside corner for strike one. Wait, why am I saying that? <laughs> Okay there, John Cruck. <laughs> Good curveball swung on and fouled off for strike two. Looks cool. like he finally found the feel for that curveball that he was flacking in that first inning. After striking out Will Klitschke on the curveball, looks like he's got a more confidence with it. I mean, it only took him, like, what, 40 pitches? Took him a few. Yeah. A long inning for the Raiders early, going through six batters. Loading the bases, not able to get anyone in, though. Check swing, take it for a ball. Some of you might not know, but Hudson is an umpire. He knows these guys' zones very well from the area. Well um, well familiar with these local umps, that's for sure. Sadly, we cannot have them up our games, otherwise that would be, that would be kind of fun. Even though they've tried. Kind of See this beautiful locks back there. They have, Change they have, up, taken down for ball two. They have tried to schedule them. Price comes set for the 2-2. And a pitch. Chop foul towards the first baseline. Bruno made with the play. Bruno makes the play. Oh, oh my goodness. Couldn't finish the throw. Fumble on the field. E on the first base coach. <laughs> the 
two two. Taken low for ball three. Went back with the curveball. Unable to induce a swing from Hudson. I'm willing to bet he comes back with the fastball here. Gotta gotta expect it. That's what I'm saying. Chop towards the pitcher. Oh Hudson hustling down first base. Throw is in time. Oh, shit. Price coming off the mound to make a good play on that ball that was chopped short down the third base line. You know, Hudson was trying to channel some inner Ichi Ichiro Suzuki there. You know, he used to do that all the time. Just hit it right off the plate and beat it out. But, you know. Ichiro was pretty much a track runner. Greatest ever do it. First pitch taken for a strike one on the outside corner, up in the zone, to Sean Pig Pigacelli. This guy really likes to go the other way with the ball. Great pitcher for him. Oh, ripped in the gap in the right center field. As the ball falls in for a base hit for Sean Piccicelli out of the eight hole. That's a big hitter right there. Just Being able to turn the lineup over now. Now batting number 12, Sean Kennedy. Really? Actually, he just broke up the no-hitter. Cancel the post game. Yeah, that's the first hit for the Raiders today. Got a lot of base runners, but... Lots of walks. Yeah, this guy's been all over the place, you know. Now he's finally settled in, and we're going to start to hit the ball hard. Another fifth-year senior. A legend, World Series champion, Sean Kennedy. Kennedy, oh, I got it. Kennedy's got a little bit of sneaky pop there. He'll rip a ball over someone's head in the infield. It'll, it'll roll in this field, in this turf, in the outfield. Big outfield. Could turn into a double or a triple. Scores the buck, pulls back, taking ball. Price continues to struggle with command early in this game. Falling behind 2-0 to Sean. Wind and pitches. Fast ball or breaking ball, I don't know, whatever. Ball way up. Nowhere near the zone. You know, lots of balls in this game. He's looking a little frustrated on the mound. Feels like, it looks like he thought that was a strike, but up here it didn't look so. No, it wasn't even close. Pitch taken right down the middle for strike one. Had to make a throw strike. Comes set with the three one. Wine and pitches squares the bunt, gets it down. Price fields, throws on to first in time to record the out. First baseman almost got killed. That's two one three foot up. Now batting number six, Roman Skrupa. As the lineup turns over to leadoff hitter Roman Skrupa, able to earn a walk in his first at bat. Trying to get a clutch base hit here, driving that first run for the Raiders today. And the pitch. Pitch taken outside, ball one. Lead off with another fastball. You know, I don't think Roman peeped this morning. Is he doing okay? <laughs> Josh Allen type throwing up before games. Yeah. Big fan of it. I don't know why. <laughs> curveball taken upstairs for ball two. The big loopy curveball is just not, not much of a play here for Price today. We thought he found it and he lost it again. He has been able to throw that fastball efficiently for strikes and he's able to get out MSOE hitters that way. The changeup has also been working well for him as another fastball is taken well up and out for ball three. He's really not throwing that curveball in the zone though. He's really using it in the dirt, in the dirt trying to make him swing. But, you know, 
seen flash of greatness with that pitch. It, if he can locate yeah. it, it will it will work well for him. 3-0. Taken right down the middle for strike one. Looks like Roman was a little upset at himself for not hitting that pitch. But... I can't be mad at him for taking taking 3-0 right there, trying to trying to get the next guy up. Absolutely. It is a team game after all. Fastball swung on and Q shot it down the first baseline. Foul. Quite a bit early on that. I mean, he is used to seeing D2 pitching. This is a D2 pitcher, but it doesn't look like his velocity is up there as much that we're used to seeing. So just a little bit early. He's going to have to get his timing down this game. Time's called by Roman. As Price comes set, the payoff pitch in the second inning here. Grounded to short. Roman hustling down the line. And he is out by half a step. I think he was safe there. I, I don't know, Jim. I don't think so. I think, I think he was out by half a step. Good call over there at first. All right, you're good to go. Have fun. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got the stream. Hey, you want I thought the first pitch taken good. outside. It almost was. Almost was wrong. Thanks, Woody. Yep. Woody, our beloved fearless leader, coming to fix the stream. Ooh, fastball taken up and in. The ball one. Ball two, excuse me. 
You know, Talon's really been moving this game. Uh, he's looking like prime Mark Burley out there, actually. He's got a quick pace. He's just getting on the bump and going. Working very efficiently right up until now. Being able to throw strikes early and often as he falls behind to the nine hitter Fowler here. 3 0. time here, resetting. Looking to just get one over right here. Taken low for ball four. As the lineup now turns back over. Number 14, Starks. As the lineup turns back over to the center fielder. Number 14, Starks. We would say their full names, but we're only given the first letter of their first name. So. Yeah, we got the first initial. A little thing first initial. Yeah, that's a better word for it. Got some snacks in there, maybe? Perhaps a playbook? Maybe. Maybe a little, a little snack. Squares bunt popped foul I towards the on-deck circle as Roman attempts to make an amazing diving play, but comes a well 15 feet short of that ball. <laughs> Easy there, Hacho. He's given the uh, Call of Duty Dolphin dive right there. He's been playing too many zombies recently, hasn't he? A true athlete right there origins. behind the dish. <laughs> Stanish. Now joining us in the press box, Jeffrey Stanish. Love to see the D2 guys out here to support their D3 brethren as a curveball is taken on the outside corner for strike two. Because of the butt foul. I know, but I thought that was a good out. He took it for strike. I didn't see that. I guess I just looked away. Jams inside. Good location. Good spot right there. I like the Backs thought. him off the plate. Good, I like right. the thought. This guy's really crowd the plate here. Now he opens up the outside pitch. Can go back to that curveball on the outside corner. Can go up up and in under his hands. Two seam change up. Throws it right down the middle. Laced up the liver. middle. Liver there. Flips to Sean Kennedy oh. who cannot come up with it. Oh. Really I don't want to give that a hit, but I also don't want to give that an error. I would say that's an error. I would say that's an error. I'd say that's a, that'd be a throwing error right there on uh, our shortstop liver. Unfortunately, um, with that error from liver, brings up now batting Malinzak. Another lefty for Eastern Michigan here. Really, the most traffic. This is the only traffic Talon's had all day here. Let's he had, he overcomes this. He had one walk in the first inning. He was able to work out of it quite efficiently. First pitch taken up and away for ball one. <laughs> well, just you know, double play ball here. Maybe a little easier one to make. The 1 0 pitch taken up and away again for ball two. Not much strong contact here for Eastern Michigan early in the game. Talent able to avoid barrels and work efficiently. Aubrey falls behind 2-0 to the two-hitter. Comes set, delivers. Pitch inside and hits him as he loads the bases. You know, Eastern Michigan is still a ranked D2 team here. They're uh... Ranked 14th in the most recent D2 power rankings as Roman Scarupa goes out to talk to his pitcher. Try to calm him down. Raymond. Really showing how Talon's really bended it. This is the first time he's gotten into really any trouble against such a good D2 team here. Um, you know, should be able to get out of it here. He's a really good Next pitcher. up for Eastern Michigan, number 16, Raymond. And now it's it's more his own doing rather than their doing. Just got to find the zone again. No hits this inning. Fowler was able to work on with a walk. Starks was reached on an error, and then Malizak, Malinjack, Malinzak, I was able to reach on a hit by pitch as the first pitch breaking ball is taken upstairs for ball one. Corners in our middle back. Fastball ripped on up the middle as it gets through. Jordan Dish on, throws the ball in the first. That'll score two runs. The free base is coming back to hurt MSOE early in this game. Class. Class. Really put a good barrel on the ball yet. Clots, They're just uh, now batting the talent, number nine. Clots. What's he pointing at? A bird. Bird. A seagull a 
<laughs> Superman. Uh, Seagull flying over the right field area. Yeah, Emma Seagull. Yeah, it's not a Seagull, just a goal. There's no ocean by us. Come on. I'm looking at the, the Golden Retrievers out on the train tracks in the left center field as the first pitch is sky way up in the air. Infield flies called. The batter is out. Spikes is As Liver is able to come up with the come up with the ball to record the second out of the inning. Spikes is bad, though. Look at all those dogs. There's three of them. Adorable. Holtz. Holtz. We now often, batting, number 19, Holtz. We oftentimes see hikers up there over on those train tracks up there, but practices, we also see trains where our catcher, Roman Scarupa, loves to try to induce a, a train hawk quite Wait. often to his success as the first pitch breaking ball is taken for strike one. Yeah, you know, him and, uh, him and Parkman are founders of the uh, team's local train gang. Train gang. <laughs> it started in uh, the Dells. We went to a uh, train-themed restaurant where they deliver food on trains, and I've never seen Parkman happier. <laughs> second pitch chopped on the short. Liver throws on to Sean Kennedy, standing at second base to record the final out of the inning. Eastern Michigan able to score two that inning on one hit. Leading off for the bottom of the third for the Raiders. Pitcher, number 28, Talon Lutke. Found himself into some trouble last inning, giving up two runs, one earned. On a walk, a hit by pitch, and an error, and then one single. First pitch. Curveball. Taken for strike one. You know, I would say that's almost like Clayton Kershaw-esque, but no, it's, it's really not. Great commentary. Winds and kicks, delivers, fastball, grounded up the middle. Short stop, comes up with it, throw on. Not in time, pulls the first baseman off the bag as Talon Luke is able to earn himself a hit. Yep, that is definitely a hit. Something we saw in I.O. These guys, uh, arms aren't too really good across the infield. Now hitting for the Raiders, number eight, Jordan Dish. As this brings up center fielder, number eight, Jordan Dish. Put the ball in play, put some pressure on them. No, no problem. Despite the name, BR is silent. <laughs> what? Despite the spelling, BR is silent. There is no R. Jordan was able to earn himself a walk in his first half out of the game. As the first pitch is taken for a ball. We have yet to see him move over. I'd like to see us take advantage of this guy's high leg kick. Swung on, chopped, fouled on third baseline as our president's oh. with President Woody with a sliding grab slings it back to the pitcher. Well done. And he's really showing Bruno Love over there, really <laughs> teaching him how to make a throw from the coaching box. Well done from President Woody over there. 
Well done. Well done indeed. Put him in the game. I mean, come on. He wants to play. As he is the one making the lineup. Price comes set for the 1-1. One -one. Kicks and delivers. Taken in the dirt. For ball two. Holtz able to make a good block on the play to keep the ball in front of him. To limit Talon Lukey's ability to go to second. You know, this really big guy back there at catcher. He's tall. Somebody he is. Call him a brick wall. Big fella. Yeah. Brick wall with China. He's an absolute unit. Squares the bunt. Oh, Fouls it action. off. Oh. <coughs> I don't know if I agree with that. Is it a 2-1 count? You know, trying to make something happen. Uh, Talon had a great break on there. Uh, I know Woody put that in play, but that's almost a pitch that uh, Ohad's got to pull back. You know? I'd rather see a hit and run there. You know he's going to get a pitch to end a straight line. Count. Price delivers with the with a 2-2 two -two count with no outs. Curveball taken low and in as Holtz continues to work hard back there. Good block by that catcher. He's been working hard all day. He's had to. This guy's done a lot of a lot of pitches, not anywhere near the zone. With a full count, I wonder if we'll see a runner in motion. You know, Talon does have some good speed over there at first base. So I haven't seen a move. Full count pitch. Kicks and delivers. No runner. As Jordan swings and misses early on what looked to be a, a changeup or a slow fastball in the outside corner. Route number one. Now batting number 26, Oliver Hollerong. As Liver steps up to the plate, trying to take. Oh, ripped on the from third base line foul. You know, Caught that, was that. Called a, that was called a grand slam a couple weeks ago. <laughs> Caught that pitch well off the end of the bat there. We need to get our guys on some Wimbledons for that. Yeah, can't have Woody be doing that. Can't have the third base coach getting a foul ball. Yeah, go teach them Wimbledon. Oh. <laughs> go teach them Wimbledons after that. Price comes set. I need to Kicks and delivers. A swing and a high fly ball that could be towards trouble. the Bermuda Triangle as that ball falls fair. Whoa. Oh, foul. Oh, he caught, oh, he caught it. it. He caught it. Oh, he what caught that? Catch. Wow. Who, who caught that? The third base third baseman. baseman. Wow. The third. Like over his back. The third base. Now batting number 21, Will Klitsky. Excuse me, the third baseman. Oh, that's, Klotz that's able to make an impressive over the shoulder catch to record the second out of the inning as he takes away what may have been a hit from Oliver. I get balls up there for a while. And he'd make a run at varsity on, uh, at our university. That kind of defensive play. Klitsky steps up to the plate after striking out. As runner takes off Talon in the second, no throw. Some heads up base running there. Second stolen base of the game for Talon. Good. Talon is speed out there, he's doing it all. Talon able to get himself in the scoring position. Now let's see if Will can help him out. A big steal there. And knock him in. Guy's still not showing much respect in the outfield here. Swung on well early. Right over the pitch. Right over the top of that pitch. You're so healthy. I know. See, look. With electrolytes. He's been going through the day. Gatorade, of course. Breaking ball kicks away from Holtz behind the dish as Talon is able to move up another 90, ba 90 feet. 90 bases. Another 90 feet. That'd be a lot of bases. <laughs> That'd, be a lot of bases. That'd be a lot of bases. 90, 90 bases is a lot of bases. You know, when this pitcher's throwing at least 50 balls in the dirt, some of them are going to start to squeak away eventually. We, Especially with runners on, we should be taking advantage of those. So. Got to get those dirt ball reads. Read the dirt ball. Price comes set, looks in, kicks here. and delivers. Man, Another pitch nice. taken in the dirt. I don't think this pitcher knows that worms do in fact have families. As <laughs> <laughs> a 3-1 pitch is delivered, taken on the inside corner for strike two. Not really a pitch he wants to hit there. 
looking for something a little farther out over the plate, something he can get extended on. Those long arms and that long bat, trying to get something maybe middle away, hit it out to the left center field gap. Payoff pitch, taken outside for ball four. Put a, lot of, put a lot of speed on the bases there. Up next for the Raiders, number five, first baseman, Alex Thurman. You really, you really can never know when big Will Klitsky is going to swipe a bag. I know. He's got some sneaky speed. Those long legs, you got to move them quick. His career stolen base total is above zero. I know that. As this brings up our first baseman, Alex Thurman. Kicks and delivers. Pitch way outside for ball one. I believe, uh, I believe Will had a stolen base two weeks ago. At uh, Winona State. Was oh, that so? Yeah. Our, our D2 team was up in Madison that day, I believe. Yeah, it was it a, cold, a cold, rainy Sunday where we got a postponement. Yeah, Madison just didn't want to play. They were afraid of losing to that kind of As the second pitch is taken for a strike on the inside corner. This scoreboard's really lagging behind here. Almost just double clicked uh, two strikes on X. Alex looking for a pitch that he can drive in talent here as he rips a ball to right field. Drop. Get down, get down. Slicing it, it gets down! Get down. Get down. Come on. And that's going to oh, score talent as the ready. ball is still in the corner, unable to come up with it. Big Will motoring around third, headed for home as Alex is able to get a big triple there to tie up the game. I'm rolling that a triple. Yeah, easily. Right field never touched it. Next up for the Raiders, number 24, Hudson Arnie. Big hit there by Alex. Alex Thurman be able to clutch up there and slice a ball down the right field line. Just out of the reach of that right fielder. That win definitely casting that win or casting that ball down the, the first base line, definitely. making it making it a tough play as it kicks down into the corner and he's able to end in, end up on third base. We got some movement going down in the bullpen already. And this brings up number 24, our left fielder, Hudson Arney. Number 18 in the bullpen. Got a righty getting loose. Oh. Uh, <laughs> was was Geardy? Wizgard. Wizgard. Oh, Loosening up as Hudson takes a second pitch for a ball. You know, the best feeling in the world is when you're hitting and you see a pitcher warming up in the bullpen. You know, this, uh, this starter really is going to want to throw to you. As that lefty gets to, you know, come set and stare at him every time, knowing that he's down there as a back pick gets. He's safe. He's in there. Back pick the third is not in time. Good, a good throw there gets him. Alex. Good job at the third base. I just hit ball. Okay. Alex finds himself leaning a little bit there. A little risky. Definitely don't want to get caught out as the go-ahead run here at third base with two outs. As Hudson is able to rip one towards center field as it gets hung up in the air. And the third out of the inning is retired. As MSOE is able to tie the game off a big triple off the bat of Alex Thurman. As we move to the fourth inning.
Uh, who's up? Six. Leading off the fourth for the Eastern Michigan, for Eastern Michigan, number six, Malinzak, playing second base today, a lefty, as he takes first pitch breaking ball outside corner for strike one. Little cutter, cutter or slider. Well, we'll get me over. Little love, there. I like it. love to see talent work ahead here as he takes a fastball down really for ball stop. one. We really need to stop complimenting him because whenever he does it, then go right back into the dirt. Talon winds and delivers a 1-1 pitch, swung on and missed. Strike two. Foul tip into the glove. Well, oh, the score is good. not 5-3. It is, in fact, 2-2. Two -two. Fastball taken on the inside corner. Got him looking. Wow. Talon able to strike out his fifth of the game. Um, now batting number 33, Becker. No, we got a professor in the Kaken department named Becker. No one really likes her. Oh, <laughs> that's unfortunate. Talon kicks and delivers another breaking ball, taking on the outside corner for strike one. Really working efficiently, getting ahead with that curveball is something that I really like to see as a catcher. Being able to throw more than one pitch for a strike early in the count gives you a lot to work with as a ball is grounded towards short. Liver with a long throw to first in time. Great play by Liver. Now batting number three, Pado. You know, a lot of people not, might not like Becker, but a lot of people do like uh, Professor Genshaw around here. A great teacher in the mathematics department. I'm sorry, sir. We can have spectators up here. Talon continues to work efficiently. Throws another breaking ball for strike one. Absolutely beautiful. Swung on and missed at the curveball again for strike two. Now he's really got any pitch to work with here. He can go fastball up in under the hands. Go another curveball down after getting the swing and miss. Kicks and delivers. Breaking ball. Taken low. Sorry. Sorry, a little late on the scoreboard here. We had to kick somebody out of the press box. Fastball <laughs> taken on the outside corner. Rings him up. Have a day, Talon Ludke. Wow. Coming up for your Raiders, uh, Sean... The two Sean's and then Roman back at the top. So we'll see you next day.
Yeah, just go with it. Just roll Leading it. off. The bottom of the fourth for the Milwaukee School of Engineering Raiders. We got Sean Piggs. Personally, I would butcher his name every time I try to say it. Oh, I think I have been. First pitch, kick and delivered. On the outside corner for strike one. Piggs roaming right field today for the Raiders. I don't know That's if we ever got a pronunciation him. guide on his name. No, he hasn't given us one. The 0-1 pitch. Tries to pick a corner, and he misses outside for ball one. You know, I want to see him go the other way like he did that first time. Really good swing on that ball. Absolutely. This guy, this guy, this pitcher's really thrown to his uh, advantage here. Piggs comes up today with a hit as he grows oh. one up the middle. A diving play kicks off the shortstop's glove as Piggs is able to record his second hit of the game today. You know, don't see that often out of him. He really likes to go to that right side. So anything up to the middle on the left Next is up for your Raiders, unheard of from Sean here. Sean Kennedy. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it's working, man. Being able to get that leadoff runner on is big. You know, he does have the he does have the uh, he's got the mask on out there. That might be why. As the first move, we see it from Price today as he steps off the back of the rubber and fires over to first. Not a very good move there. Not in time. Definitely not as fast. The first baseman able to make a pick over there. Now up for the Raiders, Sean Kennedy playing second base. a great idea. Lefty comes set, kicks, and delivers. Grounded to third, slow roller, on to second. Throws it away! Oh, Unable to get him. Sean Man. Kennedy reaches base. Pigs over to second on an error. Error on the third baseman. Second baseman. The catching error. Play that. The ball that wasn't thrown too far, too far away. We're going to the, might be going to the bullpen here. Kicks off the, the glove of second baseman Malinchak today as we have another mound meeting. Nope. And we're bringing in the righty. Lakeshore called to the pen here today. We don't know anything about this kid, but he is a righty. Mound visits are brought to you by no one because we don't get sponsored. <laughs> it could be. Could be. Could be. Hey. Give a... Give, contact our president, Kevin Wood. Yeah, give, give president... Gavin Wood, a little email if you want to have your, happy to sponsor your local company shouted out by no, they yours would be truly. Happy to sponsor us. Yeah. Other way around, we, come on. Yeah, we'd, love to, we'd love to shout you out. A righty funky. with a short, compact delivery. A little funky there. Working off the first base side of the mound here today. I'm just saying, we might you know, get a sponsorship before us. You don't see that very often. You think <laughs> After the pitching change, it brings up top of the order, Roman Scarupa. Working behind the plate for today for Division Three, normal Division Two everyday shortstop, sometimes pitcher. As the righty comes set, winds and delivers a pitch above the zone as Roman squares around and pulls back. You know, I really like the approach from Roman here. Runners on first and second, nobody out. You want to get the ball in play, runners in motion. Bunt's a great idea. Third baseman still has not moved in. 
as Wizgard faints at second base where Pig scampers back in time. You know, with these no guys, throw. These guys really don't have a defensive plan out here at all. Somebody should get put them in like an infield clinic or something. You Roman know? squares the button, his ball takes. Get as Roman takes a ball well outside. Working ahead here. 2 0. Looking for his pitch, something he can drive here. He's Maybe to get what side what he's putting down. I already forgot the time. Extra base hit. <laughs> Drive in two more runs, put up a crooked number this inning. He squares around and buds a beauty down the third baseline as it rolls foul. Who did the line? <laughs> you know, the big saying in the baseball community is never thrice. He did it three times in a row. Do you think he does it four times in a row here? Roman's got this. Roman certainly has the speed to be able to work his way on base with a measly bun. So I would not not put it. As well. I would Even not put it past him. Got put down. Traditional. Bunt defense here, first baseman and third baseman back here with the runner on second as Roman squares around a bunt again. A beauty down the third baseline as Wizgard. Oh, throw, not even close as Roman loads the bases for Talon. Man, he was on skates out there. Looked like he was going well over trying to feel that ball. My, oh, my. A beautiful bunt base hit from Roman's group in there with runner on second and first as it brings up pitcher Talon Lutke with a Beautiful opportunity here to drive in some runs. He put up a crooked number. Help himself out here. You know, one of the best baseball names in the game. You don't hear many talents coming around. Oh, beautiful name. First pitch grounded to short. Are they able to turn two here? They are not able to turn two on a speedy talent. Luke hustling down the line as he gets a RBI as MSOE Raiders. Center fielder, Jordan Dish. As the MSOE Raiders are able to take a lead here in the fifth, fourth, fourth inning, fourth, bottom of the fourth. Now up, center fielder, Jordan Dish, as he chops one down third. Play coming home, throw is in time. That might have been one of the worst throws I've ever seen, but the catcher made a great play out of it. Bang, bang, I mean, you see a, you see a third baseman throw a ground ball at home. Now play. You don't think the catcher's going to be able to Short pick that very well. Number 26, Oliver Hollerung. Score that play. He's been getting a lot of practice with all the dirt balls today. Score that play. A 5-2 fielder's choice for Jordan Dish. Bringing Oliver up with runners in scoring position here. And just a bit outside. outside. First pitch taken outside. Is like there how he two takes, outs this inning, my apologies. like how he takes pitches, like, uh, hit the bat on his shoulders a little bit, kind of times up his swing. Walking pop-up. Mm. Good hack. Big hack by Liver. Good play by the third baseman. Oh, yeah. A, a slow chopper down the third baseline, able to pick it clean and fire it home. Those and the catcher there. able to execute a very impressive tag, able to retire Sean Kennedy at the plate. Last time Liver was up, he popped up in that Bermuda Triangle over there, and the third baseman made a phenomenal play over his shoulder. Let's hope that doesn't happen again. Probably that, won't. If that falls, that could score two if that were to happen again. You know, I'd rather see a ball in the gap, though, here. Absolutely. I don't know why we're praying for a bad uh, bad outcome here, oh. a lucky outcome. Oh, no. We want, we want Liver to hammer a ball. As he oh, rips yeah. one up the middle. As he does. Gavin Wood holding up Talon as the center fielder was playing quite shallow. Able you know, to turn the lineup over. Able to turn the uh, pass of the baton over to Will Klitsky. They're pretty much playing with five infielders here, though. Six infielders. I mean, these outfielders are not playing deep at all. They don't have any respect for us. They haven't seen us really hit the ball hard yet. And when we do, they're going to be quite surprised because this is not Little League. First pitch, breaking ball, taken outside for ball one. Base is loaded. You know, I wouldn't mind seeing Big Will draw a walk here. He's a scary, bit, a scary hitter at the plate, and this pitcher might not want to throw to him. Kicks and delivers. Ball taken on the outside corner. I don't know, Jim. That one was a little outside. <laughs> that pitch has not been called a strike earlier in this game. It looked like it was on the on the white line of the left-handed batter's box from up here. But, you know, he's got a first-class seat back there. Great hold. As Will is able to hold up on the pitch up and in for ball two. You know, he sent his shoulders all the way, but that bat never left his shoulder. Absolutely not. Some impressive bat skill, you know. <laughs> Ball taken. Ooh. 
I'm the uh, I'm the down and out corner. I mean, I know he's a big guy, but that shouldn't expand his zone much. He's tall, but that low pitch should never be called a strike. Two, not... two. Payoff pitch, swung on it, missed at the breaking ball. I was really set up by that low strike call there. You know, some might say it is not golf season, As but it is. But I don't have a, I don't have a tee time today. Raiders able to score one, take the lead back here in the fourth as we turn over to the fifth inning. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We have the top of the fifth here for the Eastern Michigan versus... Now batting number 35, Fowler. The Raiders. You know, I just had a big development come up. That NPC that walked up here, he's just gone. <laughs> he's just gone. I don't know. Man. He's just... Not a fan of baseball. He wanted it? to be up here, I guess. One, is it 1-2 one, now? 1-2, one, yeah. One, two, my bad. The score is currently 3-2 Milwaukee after they were able to scratch a run in the bottom of the fourth as Helen kicks and delivers. Check the swing. Does not go, says the first base umpire. Good pitch. Almost had him. I wouldn't mind seeing him double up on that pitch. Almost got him to chase there. Put a little closer to the zone here. You got a pitch to work with? Might as well. Takes and delivers a two. Oh, swung on it, missed strike three. Just not really competitive at bats today by Eastern Michigan. Talon Lukey able to put up seven Ks through four and a third, putting on a clinic. Now batting number fourteen starts. As the lineup turns over for Eastern Michigan, the first pitch is cut on a missed. Tough crowd here in the box. Another breaking ball taken low for ball one. Just really giving them a White Castle special. These guys haven't shown they could hit the slider at all. Flipping burgers out there. No. White Castle special. Come on. Burgers yep, that's on me. Hands of accountability. Fastball cut on a missed. That's one you'd like to have back right there. That pitch was down the middle. And now go back I'll to I'll tell you, everyone walks. These guys really haven't shown any kind of competitiveness in the box. Breaking yeah. ball, check swung over to Talon, able to feel the ball, flips it over to first, recording the second out of the inning. I said it's our athletes. I said Some it's might four, disagree, but needs. I will always live by that rule. He is normally the starting shortstop when he's not pitching. Though he might be in center field game too here with Roman as shortstop. 
Talon continues to work efficiently here. Kicks and delivers a first pitch. Ties him up. Back foot slider. Gets ahead early. That pitch wasn't anywhere near the zone. It just shows you how, how effective Talon has been today. Oh, as he swords him on a fastball. President just lost his helmet in the dugout. He might have to check his pants. And wow, he and he throws the ball away. The ball away. <laughs> Snowball fight. Talon got way ahead here. 0-2 count as Rowan calls time. We didn't announce this. Got to, Talon has him right where he wants him. 0-2 after two ugly swings. Kicks and delivers. Fastball low. Squeaks between the legs of Roman Skarupa. Behind. He on cannot deck. find the ball. On deck, please. Good thing he didn't <laughs> swing at it. Otherwise, he could be on second base right now. As the first ball of the at bat is thrown. And another curveball cut on and missed as Talon strikes out his eighth batter today. Putting on an absolute clinic. As we turn the lineup over to the Wisconsin or Milwaukee School of Engineering in the bottom of the fifth. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the bottom of the fifth inning. Bringing up Alex Thurman for the Raiders. Able to smack a triple down the right field line in his previous at-bat. That scored two and tied the game for the Raiders. A big at-bat. Looking to continue the groove going as he takes a first pitch and rips it down the third baseline. Knocked down by the third baseman. Throw on the first. In time. Recording the first out of the inning. Next up for your Raiders, number 24, Hudson Arney. First pitch, breaking ball, taken. Strike one to Hudson. One pitch cut on and fouled off. Had a little dive to it. A little sink on that fastball. A little sink on that fastball. As he tops it foul back towards the third base side. The 0 2 pitch. A breaking ball cut on and missed by Hudson as the second out of the inning is recorded. Pigs. As it brings up Sean Pigs. We'd like to see. Oh, are we gonna get a a pinch hitter for Sean Pigs? Pinch for the Raiders. Cameron. Number seven, Cameron DeBoer. After Pigs goes two for two earlier this game. That's a 
That's a very questionable choice by Prez over there. Yeah, going two for two, gets a pinch hitter. Cameron DeBoer takes a first pitch strike on the outside corner. You know, one thing I will say about Cam, love him, but he really sucks at siege. <laughs> <laughs> Second pitch taken. He'll tell you otherwise, though. On the outside corner for strike two. What's his main? Uh, Cap Can. Cap Can. He can't get killed with a gun, so he goes for trap ops. Mm. <laughs> you know. The 0-2 pitch. Swung oh. on. Oh, sit down. Over to second baseman's head. Oh, he loops it. Get on my face, Cam. Cameron I don't think DeBoer. We're to say that on air. Oh, sorry. My bad. <laughs> Cameron DeBoer able to bloop a base hit over the second baseman's head. You know these eight, these hitters in the eight hole, having a day for the for the Raiders today. Number twelve, Sean Kennedy. You know we might have been questioning the choice by Prez, but it really worked out well there. Sometimes we just gotta trust our coach a little bit more than we do. I think Cam, that makes Cam one for one in pinch hit opportunities. Yeah, that's his first hit on the season, I think. As Sean Kennedy takes ball one outside. Hey, great time to do it. Yeah, no better time than against a ranked D2 team. The 1 0 pitch. Swung on and missed. Pitch that looked like it may have been off the outside corner. But a really good swing on that pitch. I think he wanted to go the other way with that and just. Might have been a little too outside for him. Was hunting the fastball. And he put a put a good swing, but just missed as the third pitch of the at bat is rolled over to short, flipped on to second in time as the third out of the inning is recorded. That hustle by Cam trying to beat that out at second base. Never had a chance, but you love to see it. And we move over. After five complete innings, your score to the sixth inning. At three, MSOE. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We have the top of the sixth inning here for the Raiders as they have a 3-1 lead over Eastern Michigan. As we have the three-hitter first baseman, Raymond, as the first pitch is a breaking ball off the outside corner, cut on and fouled off on the third baseline aye for aye. strike one. The one pitch, fastball off the Play. off the foot of 16, Raymond, as he's able to work a leadoff base runner here for Eastern Michigan. Next up for Eastern Michigan, number nine, Clocks. Oh, no. <laughs> so, I got a quick game update for you guys. Cameron DeBoer, his pinch hit opportunity came because Pigs was in the bathroom. It didn't come back in time for his... <laughs> Appearance. So, Pigs re-enters for Cam back in right field as a pitch is cut on as Jordan Dish comes on, able to make the play in shallow left center. Um, not, uh, no. 
19 pulls out. Now batting, number 19, pulls. Dude, dude, you're, you're, my, you're not gonna, you're not gonna camera. <laughs> You know, no better way to get your first inning seats than that. I move over to first from Talon, not in time, as Alex applies the tag, holds it, fires it back to Talon. A healthy lead over there at first as a curve ball is taken inside for ball one. Not a characteristic miss with that first pitch breaking ball for Talon today has been able to throw it quite efficiently for the strikes early in the count as he falls behind here 1-0 Roman sets up high ripped in the right field past a sprawling Sean Kennedy and a strong throw in from right from Sean Piggs great play by Piggs to get there I mean that ball was screaming out there and he was just able to get a glove on it saved a double there possibly triple the double play in order too. Great job. As Eastern Michigan is able for Eastern Michigan, number six, Malazak. As Eastern Michigan is able to work a runner in a scoring position here early in the count. Early in the inning with only one out. MSOE yeah, really MSOE really looking to roll a double play ball here as a first pitch is there's one. Over on the second. Sean Kenny deliver at second. Throw to first. Held pump fake. Good decision by Lever. Great decision by Lover. He had no play at first there. It's it was a, try to make the third base, the, the runner at third to, you know, maybe make a move towards home. Try to get him a, with a little deke. You know, that's what they call a professional infielder right there. You don't see that often happen at the low levels, but when you get to high levels, that happens a lot there where those those shortstops and those second baseman will fake the first, try to get the guy at third. You never know when they're sleeping. And these guys have been sleeping a lot here. Constantly in the box. As Talon tries to work himself out of a jam here with Eastern Michigan's tying base runner over at third. How batting for Eastern Michigan, number 33, Becker. As the first pitch is taken for a ball off the outside corner. Talon comes set, runners on first and third, runner takes off. As a ball is chopped to second to liver, as he throws the ball onto first, and the side is retired. Eastern Michigan threatening there in the top of the sixth, unable to get that tying run in. With some great infield defense by the Raiders here. Absolutely. As we turn the lineup over to the top for the Milwaukee School of Engineering Raiders in the bottom of the sixth. As the top of the order is brought up for the Raiders, Roman Skarupa leads us off in the bottom of the sixth. With a bunt single last time is up. Trying to scratch a base runner here any way he can. Third baseman comes in. 
knowing the scouting report, first pitch kick and delivered curveball taken wild outside for ball one. You know, now he's coming back, he's playing back, so. Once, oh, oh, now he's come to. Oh, curveball taken right off the upper arm of Roman Scarupa. Like I said, willing to scratch a base runner any way he can. Absolutely not. Try to get a runner in this corner position. However, I would not, I would not blame Woody over there at third base coach trying to just put up a, a big number here, keeping runners put as a first pitch is taken upstairs for ball one. You can be like the stats guy. Move over to first, not in time. Very funky move there from the pitcher. Roman in standing up at first base. Almost looked like he lost his footing there. I mean, this is a pretty good mountain. Maybe it's just not wearing good cleats today. Am I allowed to disclose what's going to happen with the signs? No. A breaking ball taken upstairs for ball two. As Talon Lutke works ahead here. A 2-0 count here. Expecting a pitch in the zone. As the runner takes off for a second, a swing and a foul ball. Might have been a missed sign there. Roman had a good jump there. Oh, it definitely was. I saw that too. It definitely looks like, but, you know, I like the movement. I mean, put some pressure on the defense. Woody's giving them a little calm down sign here. Roman with a short lead at first as a move over. Not in time. You know, pitcher really hasn't fooled anybody today. None of these pitchers have had good pickoff. You know, I don't, I don't know what he was looking for there. Roman was well within the cutout of the lip. A very conservative lead as he, you know, is back in safely again. You know what they say, never thrice, but I bet you he throws over again. I would not be surprised. He's, as like, he's obsessed with Roman over there. I mean, I understand you're upset you hit him, but good throwing at him, dude. As Roman Man, takes is, off at a pitch in the dirt. Great read Roman, by Roman's Garupa there. Roman with a great read in the pitch in the dirt is able to take the free 90. I mean, really in this pitcher's head here, this guy just really thinking of Roman out there, and I think Roman likes that. He's, he's really going to take advantage of this. He's telling Luke gears for the 3-1 pitch on a pitch that was... I don't know, Jim. Woof. That was way out there. That was on the way to the other batter's box. I went back to Roman being in the pitcher's head. I mean, if you see him, how can he not be in your head? Gorgeous man out there on second base. At a pitch that was on the outside corner, grounded over to second. Able to move the runner over. You know, not the ideal outcome, but he does put talent, or talent does put Roman in a great position to score on a sack fly here. And okay, you're right here. Number eight, Jordan. Dish. You know, a lot of balls to the outfield. You know, after that uh, a fastball that was called well outside, no, you just cannot take that full count pitch on the outside corner. Got to be able to put a ball in play on the right side, able to move that runner over just like how Talon did. Very well done as a first pitch breaking ball is cut on a miss by Jordan Dish. Does a job. We like jobs here. This pitcher here does have a very good curveball. He's very sharp. He's had a hard time looking, but it will generate a lot of swings and misses. The infield is in here for Eastern Michigan. With one out in the sixth, as Jordan Dish cuts on another pitch and misses 0 2. And he's already ready to go. The pitcher's not even on the mound yet. He wants to hit you. Love the aggressiveness out of Jordan here. The 0 2. Taken outside for ball one. I mean, that's just a great take. I mean, you've seen a lot of those outside pitches taken. It's hard to, uh, you know, swing at the first two pitches and you gear up for, you know, what another strike. <laughs> A good curveball laid off by Jordan Dish. Able to work another ball. Sees a 2 2 count. Yo, just a great at bat here. You know, he was trying to be aggressive and get the runner in, and now he's really tightened his zone up, not swinging that much. And that's just what you see from great hitters nowadays. A kick and deliver a breaking ball that falls well outside the zone. Great take. I mean, that outside corner has been like very iffy today, and you never know when he's going to call one, but just really knowing the zone here. 
Yes. He shoots one into center field, and that'll score another run here. Jordan Dish. Jordan Dish putting on an absolute clinic at the plate with that at bat. Falls behind 0-2 early, grinds his grinds his way back into a full count and gets a ball over the plate and lines it up the middle, getting that very, very crucial insurance run in the sixth inning for the Raiders. The mound meeting with uh, the whole Eastern Michigan team looking towards the dugout. I wonder if they're going to go to a different pitcher here. Correction, three hitter. But, yeah, I was going to say, oh, he's four. he does hit the ball. Uh-huh. Liver's four. Liver's hitting Liver's four. four. I, I was talking about oh hat, sorry. As we have number nine, lots hustle off, and number 27, Couturier yeah. heading to the mound. A big righty. Oh, Now batting for your Raiders, number 26, cleanup man, Oliver Holrom. As this brings up our four-hitter shortstop, Oliver Holrom, looking to have himself a day here. I'd love to see Jordan in motion here at first base. I mean, pitcher steps off his no. <laughs> we don't do rules here. There's actually no rules here for the NCBA. You can do whatever you want as a runner takes off. Pitch in the dirt, throw, not in time, skips it in the center field. The shortstop backs up. That throw was nowhere close to getting Jordan out at second as he's able to swipe a bag. This pitcher wasn't throwing very hard in warm-ups. He looks like he added a couple miles an hour to his fastball. But, you know, another thing is he's still got to worry about his location because that pitch was nowhere near the hour. Oh, Oliver, Oliver checks his swing on a ball that catches the outside corner for strike one. Oliver rips one through the hole in left field. Jordan waved around third in to score. Shows just how crucial that stolen bag is getting that another insurance run. Wow, the Raiders got to be feeling good about that right now. Now batting for your Raiders, number 21, Will Unable to secure the hold this inning. Yeah. Short lead at first by Liver as a first pitch is cut on a miss by Will Klitsky. You know, I feel like this guy's only going to be a fastball guy. And we should be able to take advantage of that really, really quite easily. <laughs> Breaking ball skips away from the catcher as Oliver is able to move up an extra 90 feet. All the way to the backstop. Catcher 
throws back to second for some some reason. Yet again, I don't know why. I don't know why. I would I would have gone to third on that. Oliver wasn't very far off the base. He took a, an aggressive round, but that throw well over a is well over a hundred and forty foot throw. Nowhere near getting Oliver out at second as the third pitch is taken for a ball. Looks like he took a little bit off of that fastball. Maybe trying to look at more here. Two one count to Big Will here, and this guy just murders fastballs. Kick and deliver. Fastball taken on the outside corner for strike two. I don't know about that pitch. It's a little high up there, but he's a big guy, so it might just be perspective. Might have been belt high. Hard to tell from this angle. Yeah. The payoff pitch cut on and missed. Oh, fouled off. My apologies. The catcher is unable to come up with that one as Will stays alive. You know, I've seen Big Will take some really good, really good at bats against Beans, who I would consider our ace of the D2 baseball team. I think this guy's really due here. He's going to hit a ball hard somewhere. It chops one you know what? over to third, throw on to first. No ball. Oh, no as ball. the first baseman's unable to come up with the ball as Will reaches first safely. Just a really tough play there as the pitcher practically hugged the third Number baseman five. while he was feeling first that ball. Baseman. I know they're showing some oh, ball here, but not while you're trying to feel plays. That's an error. But... Throwing here. Just, a, just a great work of... Great job there by Will to put the ball in play with two strikes. I mean, that's really what you need to do on against a team like this. Like, put some pressure on them. Alex Thurman with a triple here earlier today. Able to tie up the game early as the Raiders fall, fell behind 2-0 earlier in the game. The pitch was just a bit outside, don't you say? I would agree. Another pitch taken on the corner. That is, that is like tickling the white of the lefty's batter box. I mean, it's been there today, but that is a tough pitch to hit. That is a tough pitch to hit. But if they're giving it to you, you might as well take it as another pitch. Oh, catches the outside corner. Catches the white of the left-handed batter's box. I'm saying, I want this guy as my own. The umpire rules that pitch strike two. You know, usually we play the white of the plate, but today we're playing the white of the batter's boxes. As Alex cuts on and misses at the fourth pitch of the at bat and goes down swinging, that's just a, a tough scenario to be put in right there. Not much you can do. Hudson here is just a great hitter. He knows the zone better than anybody else. And the reason we love him is he gets on base. What does he do? He gets on base. That is what he does. First pitch is in there for strike one. He's a very strong individual. He can, put a, he can put a really good drive into one here. Ooh, that pitch must have just missed. Outside for ball one. Not much further out than the other two. Last at bat to Alex. Great take, ball inside there. I mean, Hudson knows the zone better than anybody else. Like I said earlier, he's an umpire, and he knows these guys' zones better than anybody else. Does he know the zone better than anybody else? Yes, he does. I will keep saying that today. And that is not a strike. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is, just, this is just getting ridiculous. Fastball in there for strike two. I mean, I know we're, I know we're club baseball, but come on, man. As Liver scampers over on third as a curveball catches the outside corner for strike three. That pitch that pitch was was good. That one, that one was absolutely in there for strike three. There's just nothing you can do there. I mean, Hudson had the, had the bat taken out of his hands. I pulled that bat, but I just bad strike calls all day. As the Milwaukee School of Engineering Raiders are put up, are able to put up two big insurance runs in the bottom of the sixth, we move to the top of the seventh as Talon is able to hustle back out to the mound. Let's see if he can put away Eastern Michigan here in game one.
ladies and gentlemen, welcome oh. back to the top of the seventh as the MSOE D3 Raiders lead Eastern Michigan 5-2. to two. Correction. Correction, pinch hitting for Eastern Michigan. Number 11, Waldschmidt. As a first pitch breaking ball is taken on the outside corner for strike one. That is a pitch that Talon has been able to throw quite efficiently all day. That first pitch breaking ball in there for strike one, strike two, early in the count. As he gets ahead here, 0-2. The 0-2 pitch, kicked on, delivered, up and away. Not a bad location there for that pitch, 0-2. Trying to induce a chase on the fastball up in the zone. Definitely work a waste pitch there. You're up so much. Another fastball. Tips off the glove of Roman Skorupa to the backstop. He is a catcher. Got to catch the ball. 2-2 two, two pitch. Kicked on. Breaking ball. Ooh. Full count. Pitch. Check swung. Out. Of play. Full po full count pitch from Talon. Kicked on delivered. Ripped down the right field line as Pigs comes in and then goes back. And he's able to get under it and make the play for the first out of the inning. That's a big first out there, ladies and gentlemen, for the Raiders. Talon kicks and delivers a first pitch breaking ball. Oh, wow. wow. Just miss, apparently. I missed it. Is it the same spot as all the other? Yeah. 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 As Talon falls quickly behind 2 0. Breaking ball misses outside 3 0. Fastball is up as Talon walks the nine hitter, bringing up the top of the order. Now batting for Eastern Michigan, number 14, starts. I mean, Talon's got quite a lead to work with here. You just have to get out of this inning. That is not the, not the runner to worry about at the moment. Yeah. He'll get out of this real quickly. I'd love to see a couple more strikeouts out of him here. First pitch fastball delivered for strike one. Great pitch by Talon there. Really bounced back after that tough last at bat. No. Talon comes set. Kick and deliver. Curve ball away. Fast. Oh, wow. Getting squeezed. Pitch looked good. Must have been just a hair away. 2-1 count checked. As the pitch is called strike two. Good. Allen trying to roll another double play ball. Pitch, pitch taken upstairs, full count. I think he should have went around there. He really wanted to. Give Talon another strikeout. A fastball swung on and missed for strike three as Talon collects his, what, ninth? Ninth strikeout of this game? I mean, Talon's just been really good today. Next up for Eastern Michigan, number two, Waddell. You can't pitch against him. You can't pitch any better against a team like this. I mean, those two runs, you know, might have been his own fault, but he really has settled in after those. Absolutely. Not much going for Eastern Michigan from 
since that two-run inning in the third. Hey, he might have gone out of the way of that pitch. That was called a strike on our guys earlier. Angel Hernandez is up to him. No, it's Al. <laughs> you don't know Al. You don't know Al. What you know about He's Al. terrible. As the second pitch is a breaking ball that misses He's off the outside corner. Few umpires that would agree to look in. Oh. Fastball catches the outside corner, getting over strike one. Breaking ball, misses down. It's just a good intent pitch by Talon there. He's trying to get a swing miss, and I don't blame him. These guys have been, you know, not really competitive. Try to get, try to get weak contact on something there. The three-one pitch, just Man. missed. Just missed for ball of, four. We need to get started getting wow. some of these calls. I don't. I don't know where that one was, but it looked good from up here. Must have been. It up. looked straight down the middle of the zone, and this guy just might have linked. Give me a little eye. No, uh. No, uh. Bringing the tie and run to the plate. Number 16, Raymond, playing first base today. Next up for Eastern Michigan, number 16, first baseman, Raymond. As he has that back foot, big toe right on the inside of the batter's box, trying to work away on any way he can. As the first pitch is checked and taken for strike one. Talon trying to get ahead early and often here. Talon finally got that outside corner there. It's been a minute since the umpire's called that for him. First pitch. Is knocked down by Roman Skarupa, unable to advance are the runners. Talon comes set and delivers. Curveball well outside, taking ball two. You know, it's late in the game, Talon's, you know... Starting to feel a little gassed, you know. It's uh, starting to starting to miss pitches now. Leave him up. You know, he's still in his bag here. Fastball ripped over in the center as Jordan Dish is in on it. And waves off pigs and is able to put a squeeze on the glove. As Talon retires the third out of the inning, giving the Milwaukee School of Engineering Raiders the D3 team a crucial win over a ranked D2 opponent in Eastern Michigan. Ladies and gentlemen, we will take an estimated 15-minute break before we are back for Game 2.